Hi, I'm Jeremy Jordan from Newsies, and I'm here at Broadway.com to answer some questions. Hmm, good question, Joe. I, I sort of relate to both and don't relate to either at the same time. Uh, in, in terms of how I relate to them both, it's kind of in the same way, how they all kind of want to escape. When I was a kid, I always wanted to kind of leave and, and do something big with my life. And uh, that's something that they both shared. Uh, not very similar to Clyde in that I didn't, haven't killed anyone yet. Uh, and, and Jack, you know, I, I guess I'd have to say I'm closer to Jack, although Jack is like a, a leader. He's kind of like a natural born leader, like very charismatic and kind of a ladies man. And I don't really feel like that to me. I, I kind of have always sort of taken a back seat. Although maybe, I don't know, maybe now I'm becoming more of a leader. <laughs> I don't know. So I, I guess I'd say Jack. Thank you, Nicole. I always tell Ashley that we should do urine town together because she would be a perfect hope. And I and I've already played Bobby before I did it in college, and I loved every second of it. And she's such a great comedic actress, and it's such a fun and goofy show. You know, like I think I feel like when you're a couple and you play opposite each other, it shouldn't be like really intimate because I think people get weird about that. And you should just have fun. I think that's more important. So I, I always say we should do that show together. You know, Erica, Dolly Parton is probably the most incredible woman I've ever met. She is not only like an, a musical genius, and she's also the sweetest woman on the face of the earth and she's so humble, she'll give, she'll give anybody the time of day. And I, I, I wouldn't say she gave me any lessons verbally, but she taught me by example of how to be when you get to be in a position where people know who you are and you're famous. It's not, you know, you're not above everyone, you know? She's still very humble. She remembers where she, she came from. And I mean, if the janitor or the, you know, the kid down the street asked for the time of day, she would give it to them. Like, she's just very sweet and kind. And I think I learned how to be if I ever get to that point, which I'm sure I won't get to that point. But um, that's what she taught me. Let's see, and the first thing I do when I wake up in the morning, <laughs> oh wow. You know, I should eat breakfast, but I don't. I'm, Ashley's always yelling at me that I should eat breakfast first thing. I mean, I usually get up and take a shower. Wow. And, and or let the dog out, um, depending if I get up first. The last thing I do when I go to bed, I either read or I play Scramble or Words with Friends on my phone. I'd say like a new composer, like somebody really young and fresh that like understands things like, uh, you know, uh, Chris Miller, or Nathan Tyson, or Benjamin Justin, or somebody like that. Matt. Oh, wow, that's a tough one. It is not me on the Newsies poster. It's actually Kyle Kaufman. And there's a big conspiracy at the Disney office. They refused to answer my letters. Pretty sure that they shaded his face and fixed his eyebrows and made his mouth kind of weird. Because everybody thinks it's me. But, it's, I mean, look at those guy's arms. It's clearly not me. You know, we've talked about it. We. I think we might, you know, it'd be fun. Although that seems stressful to me at the moment. <laughs> but that's probably because I'm thinking about a million other things. But yeah, we've we've actually planned most of our wedding out. Um, I think we just gotta send out the invitations and get the bachelorette and the bachelor parties and the bridal shower all taken care of and walk down the aisle. I 
I've had a, quite a few. When I first moved to the city, I was a cater waiter, which destroyed my soul. Um, I studied French service. I wore the white coat. I hated every second of it. My feet hurt. Nobody pays attention to you. And as an actor, you want everybody to pay attention to you. And, you know, it's kind of soulless. You're just kind of walking around like a robot. Here, eat this, refill. And you can't eat it. You can't eat any of it. God. Buff. Heavenly. Goofball. Genius. Cool. Riff. Joe Mantello. Because I want to work with him. Lean missteps. <laughs> uh, no. There was a little thing covering the thing, and so that wasn't too much of an issue. Uh, I've definitely fallen out of the tub, but it was dark, so I don't think that anything horrible has happened. I've stubbed my toe a bunch. Well, apparently one critic said that I reminded them of Donald Duck. So, I'll be Donald Duck. <laughs> I actually got into a really awful car accident. <laughs> and when I was in seventh grade, I was in the back seat and the door peeled in and went kink. And there's a big chunk of my chin bone missing. So, any lower. Thank you everyone for all your questions. Uh, I, I've enjoyed it, I hope you have. I hope you've learned some interesting things about my life and come see Newsies at the Nederlander Theater.